This is the worst resort in Las Vegas. This is the Rio, and even with rates as low as $8 a night, which I'm going to show you in a minute, you don't want to stay here. It's giving zombie apocalypse. This used to be the best buffet in the city, and now it's covered with tarps. The poker room closed years ago, and it's a shame because this was the best bar to meet working ladies in Vegas, but now it's just been abandoned and forgotten. People in their luggage are camping everywhere because it's better out here than in the rooms, but there's still a line to check in here because pause to see the rates. Most of this place has been abandoned though. Starbucks is out and Hash House rarely opens. I can't tell if the zebra is open or not. There's three slushy flavors and the rest are broken. There is an all-you-can-eat Indian buffet, but it was empty. This place is empty and this place is terrible, but people eat there. Half the pools are blocked off and that is the saddest cabana I've ever seen. The ones that are open are a safety nightmare. They do have this cool outdoor shower, but most of the recreation space is closed down. They do still have a comedy cellar, which I've heard is good, and Chippendales is still here. There is still an oxygen booth giving vigorous scalp rubs, but so much of this place has been given up on, and it's a shame because if you remember the parade in the sky, at one point, this was the most majestic property in the city. Remember the pop-up live performances? And look at this high limit space that's kind of abandoned. The only people who go here are the ones who make a mistake booking it online. The zip line is closed and they've given up on the steakhouse. It's only Friday and Saturday now. The upstairs is giving swap meet vibes, but for the most part, this property is just broken, dated, and dusty. There is a well-established colony of feral cats who lives here. More about that in the comments. Would you go let me know and follow me for all the Vegas.